So the first thing is, who do you tell? And then, how much do you tell? You know, clearly, what you tell your children will not be the same as what you'll tell a family member. In your experience as a psychiatrist, Dr. O'Sullivan, how do anxiety disorders impact relationships? It has such an impact on a person that uh, there's no doubt that the relationship uh, is affected. But you know, it can have a, an enriching effect on a relationship. A couple especially, or a family, who successfully negotiate the experience of anxiety disorder are often closer they're more insightful, they have a greater understanding of the psychology of family life, uh, mental health and that type of thing. But certainly, certain anxiety can have a negative effect. It can and sometimes be quite destructive in relationships. If I have anxiety and um, I'm worried, I'm tense, inevitably I'm preoccupied uh, with myself, and those around me will feel that I have withdrawn from the relationship. They may have difficulty understanding that. Sometimes they'll think, perhaps I'm angry with them. And stress evolves. Stress for everyone, both for myself and for those I live with. And unless this issue is addressed, you can see how it can how it can evolve and how it can be destructive. Mm -hmm. So it's important, especially if I'm in treatment, I'll have the benefit of discussing my issues with a therapist. And with the therapist's advice, I can look at how I'm affecting, my anxiety is affecting my family or my, my relationship with my partner, or indeed at work. Uh, the, same thing, uh, the same thing applies. I think it's important then for me to address the issue with those that I share my life with. You know, ask them, you know, have they noticed you know, anything, and they nearly always have. Explain to them, share with them what you're going through. Explain to them that this is an illness, it has a diagnosis, that you're in treatment. And if you can, be positive, if you can, I feel I'm responding to treatment. Then ask them, how they're doing. Are they stressed? Is there anything that you can do to help them? Perhaps they may need uh, counselling or therapy, or the two of you, or the family, may need to talk it over with the counsellor. All of these things are very helpful, and if we do them, the anxiety doesn't have to be the negative, dominating force that it sometimes can be. And in this way, the family come together and work together to, um, to survive and overcome the effects of anxiety. Should a person tell others that they have an anxiety disorder? And in what way should they do that? And that might apply at work or your family or your partners or your friends. Um, should, should we talk about it? That's a question I'm frequently asked by my patients, returning to work after being on sick leave, or indeed even talking to their family. You know, should I tell my workmate, should I tell my family that I'm suffering from anxiety disorder? I think the first thing is, and I always reassure them, you don't have to, you know. There's no obligation, mostly there's no obligation for you to tell your family or anyone else you're going through an anxiety disorder that you're seeing a psychiatrist. However, I have found that talking helps. Talking helps. It's always better than talk, especially talking to a trusted person. I think there are a number of things to consider when we look at the issue of disclosing to someone else that you have a mental illness. I think, first of all, who do you talk to? Now, sometimes there are people in your life that you need to talk to, your partner or a close fa family relative or somebody at work that you work with and they rely on you at work and it's important that they know that you're functioning well or 
that perhaps you're not functioning as well as you should be. So the first thing is, who do you tell? And then, how much do you tell? You know, clearly, what you tell your children will not be the same as what you'll tell a family member, a partner, a mother, a father, a brother, a sister. So, what do you tell? It's important, of course, to be selective and to be appropriate. You don't have to bear all. You don't have to bear your soul, as it were, uh, in a situation like this. So you can tell, once again, you can tell them that you have an illness that is quite common, and the diagnosis and the treatment. And if you can, in, in a business-like way, share this information and then ask them, is there anything that you can do to help them understand or cope with your illness? In turn, you can ask them and suggest to them things that they might do. And in this way, uh, you all have a common understanding and you're working together uh, in this area, which can be quite difficult for some people. And how might an anxiety disorder, a severe anxiety disorder, impact a person's partnership or their long-term relationship with someone? If I'm suffering from anxiety, you know, often I'm not easy to live with. I'm tense, on edge, I may be inclined to overreact to quite routine stress. So this is a pressure. It's a stress for my partner. And it's very likely to affect the relationship I have with my partner. And my partner may misunderstand my emotional state and have a feeling that I'm distancing myself. I'm angry with them. I'm no longer committed to the relationship. We don't know what's going through their mind. Anyway, if I'm anxious, I'm preoccupied with my own stresses, understandably. So in a situation like this, it's important to reach out to your partner, to share with them how you're feeling, to let them know that what you're going through is not their fault. It's not an indication that you're pulling away from the relationship. It doesn't mean that you're not as committed as you were before. And this explanation will be very reassuring to them. And then again, ask them, how am I affecting you? You know, are you stressed? Do you need help? Do you need counseling? Or do the two of us need counseling so we can learn to communicate during this difficult time? And so these are the things that I would suggest to a patient uh, coming to me and talking to me about uh, about the changes that are taking place in the relationship as a result of the anxiety disorder. Mm. Thank you. Thank you.